Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, today's video is all about the carnival celebration. We had the honor of being yeah, on her May the 14th, 2023. And we're going to talk about everything from the cabin, the dining, the entertainment, the public areas, the pools, service. And we will give our final thoughts at the end. Yeah. But... Let's talk about the itinerary that we went on. We went to Costa Maya. Yep. We went to Mahogany Bay and we went to Cozumel. I can honestly tell you none of those destinations owe us a thing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we stamped our name on Man. those destinations. You hear me? First, last, and, and middle niche. Um, so you want to just talk about what we did in those destinations real quick? It's not going to be anything more yeah. extensive. Yeah, you can talk about that. Um, so Cozumel, we finally christianed. Cozumel the Fine. correct way, and we went to Mr. Sancho's. Oh, I can't wait till y'all see the vlogs because oh, man. it was an epic got doing time. Ooh. If we could show you everything, we would, but we can't. <laughs> man, but I will say, Mr. Sancho's is very much for a good time. But if you're going there and you just want to eat good and drink the best, that's not going to happen. Right. It literally takes you back to your college years where everything is cheap. Let's do all it. inclusive. Have a good time. Yep. Go back home. Have a headache. All of us were sick that night because we were like this cheap liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Had us. <run. laughs> then we went to um Mahogany Bay. Bay. Mahogany Bay is one of those destinations that I don't personally have to go back to, but I had a good time there. We did ATV riding, yeah, and then we had a beach breakout while um after we did that. That was a good time, but like I said, I don't have to go there again. But yeah, the, it was, yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it was yeah. yeah. And then we went to Costa Maya. Ooh. Listen, we did not do an excursion in Costa Maya, and I did that on purpose because Man, I really wanted to. We didn't to, even need one. No, I wanted to experience the port because the port Man. is really beautiful, and it has a lot of shops. It has some saltwater pools. It has dolphins out there where you can just pretty much make a day out of just being there. The one thing I can say is that we had three of the biggest ships yeah. in port at the same sure time. Did. It was us on the celebration. It was uh, MSC Seaside, I think. I think it was Seaside. Or Seashore. And then they had an East um, NCL ship there as well. Yep. That port was Everybody so Everybody riding big and dirty. It was so <laughs> packed. But it it made for a great experience for yeah, everybody to just get together and have a good time together and then just you know respectively go yeah, off I can't to the wait y'all see them vlog. We had a man. Yeah, we had a good man. Like it was vibes out there. It yeah. was at first I was like, mm, I don't know about this. This is too many people. The but, introvert is introverting. But, uh, the people, but no. all the people made it happen though. Get into Let's it. Get into it. So our cabin, we had a balcony cabin on the 16th floor. On this ship, they have what they call two different Lido decks. So we were on the 16th Lido deck midship. That's the only thing that I usually book when I can. One thing that I can say is that the balcony cabin was very nice. Yeah, very and nice. And this was the aesthetic that I have been waiting for my entire life from Carnival Cruise Lines. Nice, clean lines, light and airy. Doesn't look like a clown threw up in it. I like really enjoyed the aesthetic. Yes. Of the room, yes. like if we could take that and copy and paste it along all of the other all the ships, ships, oh, I would be so satisfied. But it was it was very clean. The lighting was really really good nice in it. Really nice lighting. The one thing that I could say about this cabin, we did not have to pull out any of our extension cords, yes, docking stations, none of that. This cabin had all the USB cords that someone like us, YouTubers, that bring equipment along with yeah. us, Apple Watches, all of that. We never had to pull out any our extenders. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Beside the bed, they didn't have end tables, but they had like these brackets that they had mounted on the wall that was just big enough to hold like a drink, um, your cell phone or maybe like some medicine or something like that. Yeah. Very, very thoughtful. I thought it was really well thought out. Me too. And then um, the little light that was that was attached yes, to the USB they had the on the side. light beside it as well. Yeah. So that, that really gave me, put me in mind of Virgin Voyages. It did. Um, we had a sofa in our room, which could convert into a sleeper sofa if you had more than two people in your party. We don't, we don't play them kind of games around <laughs> here. Um. What else? I did love the water cooler. 
I'm not even mm. going to call it a refrigerator. Yeah. I'm just going to call it a cooler because that's what it looks like. But it looked like a wine chiller. So I was like, this is really cute. Like, y'all really just thought about this. The closet, loved it. Oh, yeah. When I tell it. you, you had all the space in the world. Yeah, I man. love that the drawers pulled out the little metal um, wire baskets pulled out like you just got kind of got lost in the closet and they really thought it out it gave me the same mindset that virgin voyages did but virgin voyages looks like ikea like it looks cheap this looked like they spent their time and really thought it out and got really real good quality within the closet yeah i really enjoyed that bed was comfortable i will say out of all well i ain't been on a lot of cruise lines but Carnival has comfortable beds. Yeah. Like I've never had an issue with the bed. The only thing I do have is, is that, because <laughs> that split, man. That like split in the middle. Like, can we just get a whole mattress right here? <laughs> <laughs> a topper? Or yeah, something? just a whole mattress. Like, why we gotta have two mat? And that was a, a the, I was looking to see was a detachable frame. It looked like it was just one frame. Really? Yeah, that wouldn't look like. I didn't look. Um, balcony. Balcony wasn't the biggest balcony of all cabins but it was functional you're enough for two chairs and your table we vibed out there yeah had a good time Plenty what i did out love there. is because i did my i do my research on all ships but when you have these newer ships that are shaped a little differently than the other ships you really have to be careful of where you place people yeah. especially me being a travel agent because some of those cabins can tear down and look down on other people or vice versa. Someone could be looking down on, on you while you're in your cabin. So I specifically, one, I like Lido now. And then two, I searched the cabins that had covering on top of it so that no one could look over top of us. And then it's hot. So right. we want to be able to have shade as well. But we did have the pleasure on pleasure to be looking down on other people. And I was like, Sucks to be them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, sucks to be them. The TV, if that's your thing, they yeah, had... They had a pretty good selection of movies on it, but you had to pay, pay for, for it, though. No. Yeah, yeah, so unlike when we go on Virgin Virgin, pretty much all that stuff be included. This one, yeah. you had to pay for the movies. But we're not there to do that. But right. I just wanted to put that in there so that anybody that's interested, or you just might be one of the people that, unfortunately, just has to be in your room for a certain amount of time, you have options. So what else you got? Baby? And the bathroom. The bathroom. Yeah, man. So the the bathroom was was quite snug, as you can see. Uh, but it gave us that same, that virgin vibe. It's the but exact the good, same. But size. the good thing, they have plenty of shelving space. Virgin didn't have a lot of shelving space. None. <laughs> and then also when you go over to the shower, uh, the shower is just about the same size, but the shower did not have the rain thing at the top. The rain. Man, which that's what I love. Head. I love the rain shower here. But they did have the, the one that you disconnect. See, that's not there. But they do have the one that, that disconnects. Um, Shout so. out to all the ladies. We got something that we <laughs> wanted and needed. Because that <laughs> rainfall shower head. For us, women of color does not work well with us. <laughs> we trying to make that hairstyle last for a week. All right. Now we're going to move on to the food, the dining. Okay. Now, we're going to say that when it came down to the food, it started off okay. And then it started getting progressively better. better. So the first the first place that we tried was um, Shaq's Big Chicken. And uh, what you get, baby? I just got like regular chicken tenders. And I got the uh, Shack Attack. I'm trying to show if I can bring it up and show y'all real quick. But my review on the chicken tenders, well, they were good. Like, I didn't have a problem with them, but I'm going to tell you what was better than the chicken tenders. They're fries. And I'm yeah, not even fries, a fry person. Yeah. Like, give me onion rings all day long. But those fries were really good. Yeah. So I'm not even mad at it. But I could tell that it was the first day rush. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Trying to like, have them feed everybody. Yeah, like, and, everything yeah. wasn't at its, like... Okay, this is good. It's fresh. It's whatever. It was get them out of here. Get the people ready to start partying. Yeah. <laughs> so, and that's why we said we felt like the first day was just like okay. We could tell that it was like they were in the change up from the sailing before us to this one, which that yeah, that's expected. So the hype of um Shaq's big chicken, it lived up to it. Yeah. So if you go in there, get you a sandwich, Mike. Yeah, because when we went back a couple of times after that. Like then we felt yeah. like we got the experience that yeah. everybody else had been talking about. 
All right, so the next song one we went to was uh, Shebang. We went here on night one for dining. Yes. Usually we go to the main dining room, but we was like, we want to change it up. Yeah, and, and then the one thing I want to say about this sailing, um, I don't I don't know when they're going to end it, but it's been like this since these ships came out. I don't know. Um, but some of the specialty restaurants are available for free yeah. for dining as well. So Shebang was one of them, and the Italian restaurant was the other yeah so we did this thing on our app where you go in to check into your dining room and it says first available yeah that was so dope. we did first available so what whoever's restaurant or dining venue could take us first because we were a group of 10 boom boom, boom. we yep. went so the first night was shebang yep i see it's 386 of you guys in the house if you're getting any value out of this live please go ahead and smash that like button so here is the food that we try at shebang Nope, it's nope, not that shebang. Ain't it. it ain't it. There we go. So the first was the spring rolls. They were delicious. They were really good. The next thing was the lettuce wraps. They were delicious. Mm -hmm. The next thing is is the shrimp was the shrimp. Uh, it was spicy sweet and sour, yeah. sweet and sour shrimp, and this one is the spicy shrimp. They were okay. And the hack of noodles. Now the spot the uh, sweet and sour shrimp. They were okay. Yeah, my uh, spicy shrimp. Were, okay, those those are haka noodles. If I'm saying that Haki right, haka noodles. Woo! They were delicious. Yeah, but the dessert at the end, the the shebang chocolate, tastes just like unsweetened cocoa powder. Yeah, That's what, it, it like, tastes don't like somebody even, took like, the box and said, "Yeah, don't even do it. Don't do it to yourself. Don't even do it. I'm telling you, don't even do it." And then my aunt, she had this chicken that came out, and it was huge. Like she yeah. just sat it on the in the middle of the um table and said, "Everybody try it." And it was mole chicken. We know what well, most of us know what mole chicken is supposed to taste like. This tastes like somebody just dumped a bunch of flour and gravy and just spread it, it over terrible. the chicken. It was horrible. <laughs> when I say it was horrible, it was horrible. Yeah. <laughs> um, my family members, some of them ate from the Mexican side of the shebang um yeah menu, and they said it was just basic quesadillas type of food. Nothing um, nothing serious about it. All right. So the next place we tried was, of course, we went to the main dining room. Mm -hmm. So in the main dining room, I'm just going to go through them, not in particular order. So uh, got the chicken Alfredo. Eh, it was okay. Uh, I've had I've had better Alfredo on Carnival before. That was an Italian so, restaurant, baby. You on the wrong you no, that's 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 why I had really? in room. You yeah. did have that. Yeah. You had it twice. I, yes, I had the chicken yeah, alfredo. You had it twice. And then also we had the teriyaki salmon. Listen, man. Listen. I've actually been thinking about that teriyaki salmon since I've gotten that. That salmon was so freaking man. good. It was so good. I wish I had me one right now. That my little cousin, who she's my play niece as well, she was like, Nat. I got, can I get that? Can I order that? That's a girl. Go, go order it. Like, it was so good that we were just over there like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that was on point. All right. So the next thing we got was some crab cakes and it was delicious. It was, it was good. It was a little softer than what I'm used to. Because it didn't have binder. Yeah. Which but, was good. But it was really, really, really good. Yeah. I said they um, stepped it up on this one. Like, I'm used to this regular dining yeah. room food, but. Everything that we selected, we must have selected the good stuff. Yeah, and no, uh, you gonna have to s pronounce this one. The Grand Manier oh, yeah, souffle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Said I said it right. You were good. Come on, <laughs> that was um, that was delicious too. That was good. Yeah, that was really, really good. So the next place that we went to was Bonsai Tapiaki. I said that right. Yeah, Bonsai Tapiaki. Oh, we had so much fun over there. So the first thing we tried was one of the things we tried was mm -hmm. they call it the pork belly and yeah, asparagus, asparagus fries. Fry. Yeah, that was good. Good. Like we were like, can you just bring out a lot of that? Like yes. our entire <laughs> setting, um, seating area was like, can you just bring more? Yeah, yeah, bring that. Uh. Then they brought out some uh, spicy tuna on the rocks. Now the queen, she wasn't feeling that, but mm -hmm. I kind of, I kind of like stuff like that. He likes but, that weird stuff. But it was real good, y'all. It was, it was uh, really good. I'm a texture person, so yeah, mm -mm, that was not. Mm -mm. Now um, this is the main entree plate. Uh, as you can see, we thought about <laughs> recording like after the fact. after we start eating, but I had the steak and lobster, and you had I had. 
the teriyaki salmon and um wagyu beef. Oh, and it was delicious, y'all. Yeah, because usually when delicious. you go to places like this, you go more for the experience than the food. Yeah, but this food was oh yeah. Listen, and then finally they brought us out here was called a chocolate bento, bento box. box with green tea ice cream. Now, when they said green tea ice cream, I was like, what? I was like, how this gonna be? But uh, good. but it was a palate cleanser, yeah. But it hit, it did hit, it hit, it was really good. And then that that cup right there, that was a liqueur, yeah, of some sort that tastes like dessert. Good, it, but yes. it wasn't sweet, so everybody was just like Boom. <laughs> yeah it was yeah it was delicious so so all in all man the uh uh yeah banza tapiyaki we definitely recommended the food was good the experience was good yeah like you said our guy that was cooking the food he was he had a song for, <laughs> for everything <laughs> like even when you would have small talk he had yeah, a song for he you. had a song all right, so the next place that we went was Rudy's Seafood Grill. Rudy's Sea Grill. Yeah, Rudy's Sea Grill. I said Seafood Grill. Yeah, but basically. It's still the same thing. Still the same thing. Um, Let's see. I want to make sure I don't bring up. I don't want to go back. All right, so one of the things I got was. Whoops. Well, that was actually mine. So you yeah. leave it there. Yeah. So, so my entree, I did get the crab stuffed lobster tail. That was really good. That yeah. was, I was really trying to like, oh, this is not going to be good. But it was really good. Yeah. And then we got the lobster bisque. Baby. Yo, fam. <laughs> that ain't even my get down. Talking about good? That was delicious. That was off the chain. Because for me, bisque are, are usually just a little too sweet. Yeah. In my opinion. I don't know. Mm -mm, they did that. All right. And then we got the... Now, this was good. This was yours. Okay. I got the... What was it called? The something apple... Apple. It was the uh, Rudy's apple cheesecake. Apple cheesecake. And it was good until I got to the apples. I do not like hard apples. So... But it, the flavor was there. So if you're a person that doesn't mind like a little crunch to your apple or your apple pie, mm, but me... The only store-bought apple pie that I could eat is Mrs. Smith's because they are <laughs> soft apples. These were hard apples. So once I got to the apples, it was a wrap. I couldn't do it. All right. Uh, I thought I had the rest of the food in here, but we had. I tried the lobster macaroni and cheese. That's why you don't have it in there because yeah. it sucked. <laughs> don't do it. Yeah, it was The it was best bad. thing in the lobster macaroni and cheese was the lobster. <laughs> <laughs> we had um, calamari. The yeah. calamari was really good. It was big yeah, like they it was. were so big that i was like this can't be real calamari like this has to be some i know some I, kind of batter mix i know i put it in here that's fine yeah that's fine. they know what calamari look and, like and then for my entree i got the uh crab cake once again now this crab cake was better than the crab cake that was over and again. it was huge like, yeah it was, it was like yeah it was around. huge yeah uh so yeah y'all see that y'all see that in the vlogs mm. Mm -hmm. All right, so the next uh, thing we tried was room service. Because you got to try room service. You got to do room twice. service. I think so. we did it more than twice, though. So I the first thing we tried was the white pizza. Because y'all know, just give me a white pizza. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even do, like, tomato-based pizzas when <laughs> I have the option of having a white pizza. And the next... And that was good. Like, was. not as good as Virgin's, but it is very good. And it's big. Yeah. Like, I was like, y'all can literally cut this in half and we still would be good with this pizza. Like, it was huge. Uh, all right. I see it's 430 you guys in the house. If you're still getting the value out of this review, please go ahead and smash that like button. And we go ahead and moving on along. So along with the white pizza, we got the wings. Oh. And they were good. They were, they actually was the best honey barbecue wings I've had on, on Carnival yet. And that's across all the ships that we've been on. I agree. Yeah. Like, whoever... Um, it, it was cooking them. They put the little crisps on the top. You know, sometimes <laughs> they don't they don't crisp the skin enough. They yeah. did that on these. They sure did. I said, all right, I see you. All right, so the next food spot, yeah, the next <laughs> food spot that we tried was the salad bar over on the Serenity deck. So if you tried that when you was on the ship, just go ahead and put that in the comments Fresh while we talk creation. This right here, these right here, man, I'm telling you. 
why are we excited about salads? Maybe we're at that age. I don't Ooh. know. But we were just at the Serenity Deck and everybody kept like going back and <laughs> forth. And I was like, well, if they keep going back and forth to get these salads, there got to be something to it. Maybe yeah. you make your salad and they had these different kind of dressings. So I got a pineapple dressing with a vinaigrette. At, uh, oh, Listen, they let you put a little bit of everything on it. Corn, peas, yeah. broccoli, cauliflower, ham, chicken. Heaven. They have blue cheese dressing, shrimp, balsamic vinegar crab. dressing, ranch dressing. They had, you said scrimps? Scrimps. Got scrimps, man. Oh, it, it was, was good. Like, we literally stalked that place every time it opened. <laughs> yeah, we, we did. Yeah. All right, so of course we definitely cannot try a trip without going to, to um, the C uh, C Day brunch. We're gonna do C oh, Day brunch. brunch first. And I thought I uploaded more C Day brunch stuff in here, but I am gonna show you this little miniature steak. <laughs> There's a story behind this. <laughs> so I ordered the steak and eggs for breakfast, but I said I don't want the fries that come with it. Please bring me the brunch potatoes. When the Guy came out with my egg and my potatoes. There was no steaks. So I said, okay, maybe it's just lagging behind. Yeah. <laughs> and then like 15 minutes later, I was like, where's my steak? He was like, oh, I thought you said you didn't want it. I said, who ordered steak, steak and eggs no, without no, the no steak? steak? Right. <laughs> and he looked at me like, you kind of got me on that one. But he still was looking at me like, but you did order without the steak. I'm like, So then he brought me the steak and he said, I know it's the smallest piece of steak. That they had back there, I can see. I'll say, yeah, y'all just did me dirty, <laughs> but maybe y'all knew I had just been eating too much, so maybe y'all doing me a favor. Nah, they just bought you a small steak, but the steak was flavorful, <clears throat> it did not look like it was gonna have any taste to it because I was like, What is this? Right, what is this? All right, but it was good. The the next spot that we tried was the Lido Marketplace Buffet. And y'all know, if you watching our videos, how we are about the buffets when coming down to Carnival. Or any place. Oh, uh, they just don't do it. But uh, on the celebration, they came through. They, I mean, the, It was the, limited, though. Yeah, it was a limited selection. But what they did had... It was cool. It was good. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. So the next thing was we went to the Italian restaurant. Uh, this was a real unique experience because we tried some stuff that we didn't think was going to be good. So and one the stuff we thought were going to be good wasn't good. <laughs> right. So one of it was, was this right here, this broccoli and this cauliflower right here. Bomb. What? I don't know how they cooked it or what season it, they put it on it. just said roasted, Man, but it was so good. She was good. Um, the next thing I had tried this was the, uh, the penne pomodoro. Uh, they had no taste. It, it was okay. <laughs> it, 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 it was okay. Yeah. Um, the next thing we tried, and this is the queen tried that was the spaghetti carbonara. Yeah, that was better. That was that was the that was the best of all the pastas. And that's saying a lot. And this one was the linguini vangola the something. Um, yeah. this was the second best. Um uh, so it was the the shrimp. Uh, the, yeah, yeah, carbonara the, was better. The carbonara, then that one, and then the um the penne. And then we did have chicken parmesan as well. Yeah. Um, that mm, was all right. Yeah, chicken parmesan was that I I thought I had that in here. But my aunt, she got <laughs> the short ribs. Oh my god, they were amazing. I was like, we yeah. should have got that. Oh yeah, almost forgot these. If y'all, if you into now, clams and mussels, good. man, that right there. Was everything. Yeah, that was good. And oh, the meatballs. The meatballs was pretty good. Yeah, the meatballs was really, really good. And then you got the the malting cake. I don't know what's been going on with the malting cake, but I haven't had a malting cake that was just malting. Like these be so goddamn loose. I'm like, y'all might as well not even have put them in the oven. So I put my spoon in it and it was a wrap. I was like, this is too, this too loose. Right. And uh we tried. Guys, pig and anchors um breakfast buffet. Uh it was better yeah, than expected. It was that was yeah. Yeah, it didn't look promising at all. Like we literally just went there because we needed some food before we got out in port. Yeah. And it was better than expected. Like still buffeting though. And then of course, we cannot do a trip without guys, burger, and fries. <laughs> um, it's not the typical guys, burger, and fries, in my opinion. Fries are still different, but the burger was it was. It was cool, but it hasn't my, been my, the best. My my ringer was good. 
Yeah, it wasn't the best that I've had. Of my ringer, my ringer was good. So for the most part, that's like the food that we ate. We like that they did take your food allergies very serious. They did. Yeah, um, so they was constantly asking about that. Which This was the first time. Like when right. we got to our cabin, I actually had a letter because I do have a nut allergy. I'm a, tr a tree nut allergy. And when I got to my cabin, they had a letter written out for me and told me that they were taking my stuff really seriously that if I had any questions about anything that I was eating, don't hesitate to ask. Yep. Um, it's been noted that, you know, tree nuts cannot be in any of my food. I was like, okay, <laughs> all right, I'll see y'all. <laughs> all right, so now we're gonna move on to entertainment, the entertainment on the ship. So you can go ahead and get started there, baby. Uh, okay, I got a lot to say, but I'm not <laughs> gonna say a lot because I want y'all to experience it in the vlogs as well. Right. But one of the things that we did enjoy was the love and marriage show. They picked the perfect contestants oh, to come on stage. I feel like the cruise director did a really good job a at really navigating good job. that show. He did. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Like I sat there and I'm not even a show person. Like I'm one of those people that go on a cruise. And if I can just peek my head in and see what's going on just to say I did it, that's my vibe. I literally yep. just sat there the whole time and laughed, and, and my laugh. my stomach was hurting. Your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good time. It seemed like the, all the older couples really be the ones that they get you going, boy. Like, cause they don't give two bucks. <laughs> no, they've been, been married longer. We've been, been, been married for eighty years, so we don't care no more. Mm. Then the next thing was deal or no deal. Let's yeah. Say. Oh my god, that was that, that was, like was the so most, intense, boy. It was intense. When I tell you, I've never had an experience where. You were rooting for the person more than you would be rooting for yourself if you were up there. So it was a guy that got up there and he was a pastor. And we we will show y'all in the vlog, but he had all of us in like we on the yeah. edge of our seat, like it was like deal, bro, deal, deal. Bro, deal. Oh my god, yeah. that was good. <laughs> yeah, that was real good. Um, the club, the nightclub. Sorry. I we tried to make ourselves stay mm -hmm. at the club. And it just wasn't clubbing. Like, it was like the music was trying... Because Carnival has this thing where they have, like, this dance type of thing beforehand. Like, they play, like, the dance hits. That is so unnecessary. I wish Old that somebody music, would yeah. ask people on board. Because y'all need to scratch that. Then y'all yeah. get to the club club part. By that time, we're frustrated with the DJ, and it's not their fault. They got a job to do. But it was like he had to build from where he started on up. And by that time, everybody was restless and ready to go. Like, mm -hmm. this ship is huge. We're tired. we yep. feet hurt. We've been in white all night. <laughs> so, and, and then soon we got on the dance floor. We said, boom, boom. And a girl just, it just fell, fell on out. us. Toe up. <laughs> Toe up. I mean, she literally fell into us. Oof. And I was like, the way I'm set up tonight, I ain't got time. Let, let's go. <laughs> so, uh, theme that was nights. Cool. Theme nights. I think that I think the theme nice was pretty like drab, real facts. Um, we did white night. We did the white for night. like five <laughs> minutes. Um, eighties night we didn't even show up. Uh, what else did we do? Like, of course, elegant night. You gonna do what you do? But oh, that's yeah, we'll literally be, just yeah. to take pictures and to eat with your family. It was all right. The uh, theater shows; those was with the ones that we did see were were yeah they, they did were a, excellent from yeah, what they we did. could see yeah and we have a problem with and i've heard this all across the board um that the what is it celebration central where they have these things set up i don't know who designed that but it was freaking horrible like the seating is horrible you can't see if you sit in certain places then it gives people the opportunity to step in front, front of, of you, you and stand yeah. um, and they do and they do <laughs> So it was pretty bad. And they happened to have the shows at the same time that dinner was going on for most people. Right. So by the time you get out of dinner, there's no place for you to sit. You have to literally like be peeking around looking. So what we saw, we enjoyed what we saw, but we never yeah. got a good seat to yeah, sit yeah. down and really like enjoy but it. But overall, they did they did a really good job with the with the with the shows. Uh -huh. The um next thing we tried out for the family feud. Listen, we didn't we didn't make it. <laughs> we didn't make it, <laughs> but we did try it out. We did. Um, yeah. I, it was a great experience. But what was. happened was my cousin was supposed to have been the team captain, and then they sent a letter to your room to let you know the qualify uh, well the requirements to get on stage. 
And one of them was closed toe shoes. And yeah. my cousin didn't have any closed toe shoes. So she, at the last minute, appointed me as a team captain. And I am not good under pressure. <laughs> so I lost it for my family. <laughs> I was That's like, how you did good, though. But it was a great experience. Yeah, it really was a good. great experience. We couldn't record any of it, though. No. Because actually, um, Family Feud was the one that asked for the show to be on the ship. And their rules was they no. can't, you can't say certain stuff and you can't yeah. and you couldn't um record. All right. So um the next thing was that we liked though on the celebration was celebrations would just break out anywhere. So yeah. we was we was over at the Latitudes bar, joining ourselves some drink, and behind us a full blown party. The guy name was Trevor from the uh uh, fun squad mm -hmm. just broke out, had people come through an electric slide, doing the soul train line, singing yeah. birthday song. We traveling back in time. I mean, we did so much stuff over there, and man. I was like, how did we get in the middle of this? Right. So that was like, that was dope. That, that wasn't the only time we've seen, like, we be looked down there, the DJ down there, party break out down there. Mm -hmm. So the celebration is a big celebration. It is. <laughs> It yeah. is. It is. Uh, the next thing, the entertainment, the casinos was very nice, but nice. they were very packed. Oh my so gosh. when you get on there, be prepared to, you know, excuse me. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah. I'm going to tell you how, un <laughs> well, for me, it was uncomfortable. Like you could not get into the slots without, like he said, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I had free drinks in the casino with the deal that I and we only got one, <laughs> and I only could do one because I could not stay in that casino. It was just, it was just too chaotic. I felt like my brain was going to explode. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was just too much going on. All right, and then we had uh, sail away. Sail, we. Uh, it's kind of hard to say anything about sail away because. We, we, were at we, a we was at a meet and greet, so we kind of caught like the tail end of it. But you see, they had a lot of I mean, people lot out of people. there. That ship is huge. Ooh, it was a lot of people out there. But we but, do have to also say that our cruise director that we had was not the normal cruise director. He's a fill in. So he was a fill in because Lee was out at a conference with the rest of the cruise directors that were being celebrated. So the guy that took over was Mike. Yeah. Um, and Mike did a good job for what he had to work with. You can tell that he didn't have a feel for this particular ship and the flow of things, but I think he did an okay job. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I, I, I saved the funniest <laughs> for last. So for last, so we decided that we was going to get on the boat roller coaster. No, somebody decided for me. <laughs> we almost didn't make it. Cause when it came time for us to get on it, it broke down. So it had been See, broke God, down. It had been broke down God for an hour. So we had to come back. And then we came back and, still, and it broke down again. It still got broke down. So we finally was able to get on it. So here is the the roller coaster. And just, just listen up real good just to see if you hear Shut anything. Up, <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> Did y'all hear anything? <laughs> but let me tell you what my stupid husband did. Ooh, because nah. they tell you, they give you a little, little briefing and they say, you can get on and do nothing. It will take off. But you have turbo buttons that gives you 60 seconds of turbo blast. Yeah, you, can, my. You, you can use it all in one blast or you can break it up into little teeny segments <laughs> for 60, you know, equal in 60 seconds. This fool decides <laughs> that every time we would do a dip, he would hit the turbo blast. Yep. And I felt like I was coming out of that freaking seat. And every time and I told him, don't you do that no more. And, <laughs> Man, I will <laughs> holler like Marv on the <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh, home alone. Oh my Boy. god, it was bad. So I hope y'all see y'all in the comments laughing. Yeah, that yeah, she said she ain't gonna ever get on it again. Not with him, but uh Not I, with him. I told her, I said next time we if we do it, I'll let you drive and I'll get in the back and you can get me back. Oh, he thought it was funny every oh, time we hit that hill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and you literally could hear it, it was like nah. <laughs> I said, we're going to fly right <laughs> off this track and there's going to be a black girl in the ocean. 
<laughs> all right let's move it all along so we can get in the comments and answer any questions y'all have so we're going to talk about the pools and the public areas um the public areas was That's clean spotless. spotless clean the only thing that i considered was a problem but because our cousin was told us about it first <laughs> all the doors are automatic so if you're not careful you, you could be in the bathroom and the door just automatically comes open if you don't lock, lock it, it right so it happened to our cousin, not not to her, but she saw somebody. She went to the bathroom and the person was on the toilet and the door just <laughs> and she came up <laughs> and she couldn't get the door closed. My case was I was going to the bathroom and I couldn't get the door to close. So every time I go try to do my business, the door like, come on, man. Come on. I said somebody go see my arse. So, so yeah, so be careful with the automatic doors. Mm -hmm. The in pools, the, the pools was very nice. The Serenity pools, the Lido pools, mm -hmm. the pools in the backs, the tide pools, the yeah. infinity pools. I the think pools we tried almost nice. all of them actually. But the pools was cold oh, as my. hell. I don't think it, any of them took the cake more than the Serenity deck. The Serenity Man. pool felt like somebody just threw ice in it and just let it melt I and you see. jumped in. I said, am I doing a cold submersion or am I getting in the pool? Man, that thing was gold. Yeah. And mind you, this was Ooh. a hot sailing, <laughs> but the yeah. pools were freezing. Yeah. And the hot tubs is nice too. We didn't get we didn't, it. Get, we didn't get in the hot tubs. Like it was kind of, it was hot out there. So we didn't even mess with the hot tubs. Yeah. Why are we going to do that to ourselves? All right. And the next thing we're going to talk about is the service. Uh, what'd you say? For the most part, the service was good, except. The service, you could tell that they were understaffed, but we yeah. never met someone that had a bad attitude. Like no, nah, they, they all had, had good any, attitudes. Yeah, we never, they never made it feel like they were understaffed, even though we could tell things were a little bit slower coming out. Yeah. Like sometimes when you ask for something, you may have to like repeat or make like we did in the C-Day brunch, like <laughs> steak and eggs with no steak. Like you could yeah. just tell that they were under a lot of pressure, but everybody did it with a smile, except... This is the only sailing that we've ever been on. Is only it a, one. Is it a major problem? No, but you you come to expect Back certain you things. You look for it, yeah. We never saw our room, room steward attendant. Not once. We don't know if it was a male or a female. Male. Like, we didn't have a card in our room. Like, he was like, be grateful I'm cleaning the room. Now, did he clean? Oh, or oh. did he or she clean the room? Oh, oh, it was on point. Oh, on yeah. point. Oh, on point. Every time we left, came back, the room was clean. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, that's really all you could really ask for. And we had great towel animals. Yeah. But never saw them. And I heard that in the Facebook group that a lot of people had said they never met their room attendant as well. And this was on different floors. So... Definitely, yeah. you can tell that they were understaffed. Another thing that happened, you will see this in the vlog, is that the baggage <laughs> handlers delivered my carry-on case to a whole nother room. Yep. And we just happened to be recording at the time, and the girl knocked on the door, and she was like, is your name Lynette? And I was like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> and she was like, I ain't trying to be weird, but she said, I have your luggage in my room. <laughs> And she said, I'm going to go get it and bring it to you. I just didn't want to leave it at the door in case something happened to it again. I was like, I thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, being honest, too. Because that could have been my suitcase that was missing the yep. entire sailing. So, and when I say it was nowhere near our room, nowhere near. When she walked away, yeah. I didn't even see where she, she went. She went somewhere around the corner. So, it wasn't like it was a couple doors down. Yeah. It was completely off the grid where she had to go and get my suitcase from. All right, the next service, um, embarkation and debarkation was smooth. Very smooth. So you don't even have to worry about that. We always said it about Miami. Miami, y'all got it down pat. I'm telling you, y'all got it. We was on it. We was yeah. we count, I think we was on the ship within 15, 15 minutes. Yeah, about 15 to 20 minutes. We was on. Now, mind you, we had my aunt with us that had <clears throat> to get a motorized scooter. All of this happened in 15 minutes. Yeah. So, but I will tell you. When people have been saying that Miami and all of those things are cracking down with y'all in the in the puff puff give. Oh listen, yeah. Yeah. The dogs are out. And they are everywhere. They are everywhere mm -hmm. to the point where I was searching myself to make sure I ain't had nothing <laughs> because they made me so paranoid. Yeah. I was thinking I had something on me. Yeah, when they we everywhere, first get man. there, they have your luggage and they the porters take your luggage and put it like in a bay area. And they just walk the luggage and see. And if they smell anything, they pull it off. 
Um, then when you're going through the line, they the handler will bring the dog down through the line to yep. sniff you. Then after you get checked in, before you can go through security where they check you again, you have to bypass the dog and kind of let him smell like your bag, your backpack or whatever, before you can even get by again. It was so crazy. I was like, if anybody got their stuff past that dog, we know a couple of them. Um, y'all, y'all, y'all good, y'all man. Good. Y'all, yeah, y'all, y'all good with y'all do. <laughs> yeah, y'all good at what y'all do because that, that they were out. Yeah. All right. The next thing was service. The security um was very visible and active. So we did appreciate that. Yeah. Um. Also, we said like the cruise director, he did he did good. So in, what he had to in, work with. Yeah. So. Yeah, as being the feeling, he did okay. He, you know, we yeah. we still stuck at Ryan Rose and them, mm -hmm. you know. So the flying Scotsman. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and give our final thoughts, and okay. then we're gonna let you guys go. So the first, the first thing is, would we go again? And I'll answer the question. I'll let you answer yours. I am. Okay. Me, yes, I would go on the carnival celebration again. I love the ship. I love the vibes. Um. It was nothing but a big celebration. Was it a lot of walking? Yes. I'm so glad that I work out. And put that. <laughs> that I'm so glad that I work out. It really All made a difference. It made a difference. So, yes, I would do the celebration again. Um, I feel like I have to do the celebration again because there was just so much that we just didn't get to experience. But, yeah, I would do it over and over again. I still think it's too big. I really think that if you could scale it down to maybe the size of the horizon, a little bigger than the magic horizon is, is the perfect size. But I mean, I would do it over and over again. I have no problems at all. The one thing I will change is even though I'm that Lido deck kind of person that I want to stay on the Lido deck, I think that I will explore a different cabin location the next time. Yeah. Because even though you're on the Lido deck, because the ship is so huge, a lot of the places that we tend to gravitate to Which was, were was, was in the seven, back. Was six, seven, and eight was the main yeah. floors we went on. Yeah, so, so you would have to that's almost ten floors. Go back down, up. go over. Yeah, forget something like Stanley was dressed inappropriately for the for dinner one night, the second elegant night, and they were like, "You have to go back to your room." So he had to go all the way oh, this way. Yep. <laughs> up, and the elevators are not very quick. No. They're not the worst. But they are not very quick. So it was a lot of time waiting in elevators, waiting to come down. So, but I would do it over and over again. Yes. So she hit all the rest of it, the ship size, the cabin, cabin placement that we had on the paper here. We told you guys about the excursion. So, yes, we had a fantastic time on the carnival celebration. And we just oh, and guess what we did on the way back? We ran into 50 Cent. At the yeah, airport. Yeah, we're at the airport. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was like, yeah, I that never, was dope. I never get like, because for some no. reason, I always run into celebrities and I just be like, oh, that's yeah. such and such. <laughs> oh, that's Beyonce. I never get excited. I saw Curtis <laughs> yeah. and I was like, <laughs> he smiled. I smiled. I that was, was like, dope. that's Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> also, the vlogs are going to start coming out on Sunday. So get ready for that. And so if you're here now, the first vlog will be right here. So if you enjoyed this review, check out the first vlog. And we're going to catch y'all in the next live straight from the VA. Dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down.